Hello there, and welcome to my seventh 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to make um, your 3D object jump on terrain. Now, you may already have figured out how to make it jump on um, flat ground. And if you haven't, then this will help you in that area too. But this is mainly for jumping on terrain. So, as you can see, I have my little guy here. He is a little block, and I'm actually using my own um, tutorials in making the terrain here. So same as as always. So anyway, um, you may not be able to see this as well as I can, but because it's so chunky, but I'm jumping, and like you can see that from a different angle. There we go. I am jumping up and down. There we go, and even when I am going forward, and I jump off a cliff, then yep, there we go, I can still jump. Perfect. Now to show you how to do that, now you may want to download this onto your computer and see how it works for yourself. Now note, to use D3D functions, you will need to have Pro Edition of Game Maker, unfortunately. So I seriously suggest that you get Game Maker 7 Pro, which is really cool. So, in my object, um, all I need to do is when I press space, which is the um, uh, button I use to jump, if jumping zero, so just to make sure that I'm, all, I'm not already jumping, because if I was, that'd be really annoying, and I could keep jumping in air, then jumping equals one, signifying that I am jumping, and Z speed equals 8. Z speed is basically the speed that I'm going to be moving up on. Now step. Uh, two script codes for jumping. So if jumping equals 1, once again, so that means I am jumping, Z jump, which would be the height that, I'm, that the jump is going to be, you need to add this extra if you're using terrain, otherwise just use Z height. So Z jump equals Z jump plus Z speed. And then Z speed equals Z speed take away 0 0.5 there we go that way it's um, slowing down and not gonna keep moving up at impossible heights now if Z speed equals 0 then jumping equals 0 so if you stop moving up then jumping equals 0 and you can start moving down now this is how you can start moving down if jumping 0 so now if you're moving down then if Z jump is larger than 0 then Z speed equals Z speed plus 0 0.5. That means that it'll go down now. Now I'm starting to go down again. Now if Z speed is um, larger than 8, then Z speed equals 8. There we go. This is all just code that you're going to want to copy because if you're like me, you don't want to have to type this all out. You're going to want to copy it, so just download it. So Z jump equals Z jump take away Z speed. Still, just all ma just all making sure that all the variables align up, making sure that it'll go down nicely. Now, if Z jump is smaller than zero, then Z jump equals zero, Z speed equals zero. This mean means that you can stop at the bottom and not keep going into eternity downwards. There we go. Now, also, Z equals terrain get Z. All that that's for the terrain. Now you're gonna wanna um. If you haven't seen my previous tutorial on terrain, then you're going to want to look at that f to get this terrain. Anyway, um, and then at the end, you have to just go plus Z jump. This will make sure that it adds the height. Now, Z level, same except for exactly the same except for at the very end, Z plus jump. Anyway, there we go. So that's all you really need to add in there. And then once again, when you play it, now I'm actually not cutting out any of the time here. This is the exact time it takes to load. So here you go. There we go. So as you can see, we have this little object that can jump 3D wise. Which is a very handy function for if you're going for first person, this also works. So they like running around and shooting at each other for no good reason. So yeah, up and down I go. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.